Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome back to my channel, So Notes. Alright, so this is hashtag Friday Sews and this is my episode of Friday Sews. Once you're done watching my video, I encourage you to check out that hashtag to see what the other sewing vloggers have been up to this week. What have I been up to? I haven't been, I haven't had time to film a lot of videos. Life has been tough for the past couple of weeks. I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to get into it, but life has been very challenging and testing and I'm just waiting to catch a break. I'm hanging in there by a thread maybe but so that's the life front of it it's it's life's just been hard and it's been throwing us a lot of curveballs and it's been testing us and our patience and it's it's tough luckily I have sewing to help with whatever is going on so I have a bit of a mismatch to talk about today. Um, the last time I was on Friday Sews, I was talking about how I felt that my sewing journey is changing, evolving, and I didn't know what words to use to describe that. And I've figured it out. In order to get better or good at something, you have to practice. And of course, with sewing, I'm practicing all the time because I'm sewing various things. However, my sewing journey is changing in the sense that I want, I'm trying to sew more back-to-back -back items that are the same to get better at it. Um, and I get a lot of compliments on the bags that I make and people say that I should sell them. And based on like, the calculation of how much to sell your bag for, your time plus your supplies. And we all know bag making supplies isn't cheap. Like I can't get wholesale bulk order of stuff. I just buy as a customer. So of course my co my cost is higher. So just based on like time and your materials and just miscellaneous things, charge for a bag that I make would be quite pricey and people are saying I should try to sell them. I would love to get to that point but in my area where I live people won't pay that for handmade but what I'm trying to say is I'm sewing multiple things to get better so actually right now in the works I'm working on two more high earth bags and I got one side pocket done so you could get a sneak peek of what it's going to look like. So this is faux leather vinyl and this is quilting cotton and I've quilted it. And I think that's a stunning combination with the pink handles going across. I think that's going to look lovely. I am still having, I bought the thread that Sherry and a bunch of others recommended. It's from uh, cleaner supply and it it works wonderful but however this bag I've used the thread that I have in my stash and I do believe that the problems I have with my machine is due to the thread so I need to buy more of that cleaner supply thread because I only bought one color in fact hold on we'll get there and the next high earth bag I'm working on is going to be this combo but I've ultimately decided I'm not quilting this one. So that's what that one's going to look like. You could see I've made the lines to quilt it, but I've, I was having issues. And this is like the first step of the bag. So having issues right now, I'm not willing to carry on. I might hold this bag back and buy that cleaner supply thread so that I could. And if I don't want to wait then I won't quilt it but I might wait I don't know so the point here is I'm sewing these back to back so that I can get good at this bag and potentially sell it 
I'd like to eventually give these as gifts maybe, but I kind of I kind of already like this one as you know my margarita bags made out of this, so you know I love this combination. And black and gold good combination. So that's what I've been working on. Also, another thing that I've been working on is I could show you a sneak peek. I don't know what's going on here. Can you see? No. Okay. I could show you a sneak peek. Let's show you. I'll show you the handle where the stitching's nice. Well, the the stitching's nice on the handles because this is the cleaner supply thread. So this is a sneak peek of the collaboration that is with Michelle Sews again, uh, Gra Granny Sewing Room, and Sew April. That's our collaboration for Michelle's um, bringing awareness to ALZ uh, for Alzheimer's. So that's coming up on Sunday. So that's your sneak peek of that. And today is Thursday, so I, rec I record my Friday Sews on Thursdays. And I have some good news. The stuff arrived for my, to finish up my pink, um, my pink dress. Where is it? Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. So here, I ordered more of the horsehair braid. I ordered four. So I'm gonna take apart the ones, the one that I pinned on the dress and I will use this one instead. And so going back to sewing things back to back, um, my pink dress, all that fabric was purchased by me from Minerva, but I am a Minerva brand ambassador, which means they do call outs for us to sew with some fabrics. And so one of the fabrics in the call out was this, another lace. So that's a little bit of it. Here's the other side. I could leave links to this fabric in my in the description box as well. But I seen this lace be put out on the call out and I even talked to my husband about it. And I figured since Minerva's kind of giving me another opportunity to sew another dress like that. I figured I would jump on it. So I asked, I, I asked Minerva if I could make a dress with that silver fabric and they said yes, but they don't supply uh, the underlining or linings for the brand ambassador program, which is absolutely fine. So they gifted me the lace and I went ahead and ordered the stuff I need to complete the dress. So I ordered this black. I have to check what kind of fabric this is, but it feels very similar to the pink, but it's black. So ultimately what I'm going to be working on right now. And then this is just the supplies to make the dress, which is purchased by me. So ultimately i'm going to be sewing i'm going to be finishing up my pink dress right away as long as life is just settling down because <laughs> so i'm going to be finishing up that pink dress and then after that pink dress i'm going to be working on this silver dress i might even start the silver dress now only because it's part of the brand ambassador program so minerva likes it when you sew with their fabrics as soon as you get them um so we're, I'm going to see where I'm at with that. But when Minerva gave, like, kind of gave me the opportunity to sew another dress like that, I figured I would jump on it because practice makes perfect. So I see what I've done and maybe what I've done wrong or how I could have done something differently with the pink dress. And then I could improve upon the gray dress, which is why I think my sewing journey is taking this... Um, this new route because I always think about YouTube right and I know as a viewer you probably don't like to see the same thing over and over and over again and I get it but to me 
it's important for me to sow these things over and over and over again to get better. So I might not share as much. I might not have as much videos for you because I don't want to come on here and be like, here's another high risk. Here's another high risk. Here's another high risk. Here's another dress. Here's another. You get what I'm saying. Um, so I, I just need to think about that way to incorporate the sewing with my YouTube. But so that's what I've been working on. And I also made a top with Minerva's exclusive rayon uh, Shally fabric. So this here is the Christy top by Stylark. I've made it a couple times. The camera might be showing it a bit darker. There, that's the color of it. I've made it a couple times, but this time I opted to make a cuff for the sleeve instead of the flounce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to my Minerva profile. Another thing I've been working on this week is uh, I've done my fall project for printable, cuttable, creatables, and I found inspiration from a sign that I saw at Michael's Canada. And then I made my own spin on things using cut files from uh, printable, cuttable, creatables. So I will leave another link to that in my description box so that you could check out their YouTube channel and see the, the arts and crafts that I've been doing there. I've been enjoying my time being part of that team and uh, I just love it. So that's all that I have for you. I'm kind of sewing mismatch and that's kind of why I have so many machines because I have a lot of projects on the go and if I feel like working on a bag I'll work on a bag if I feel like working on a top I'll work on a top if I feel like working on a dress so that's where I'm at right now so thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time